Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent. So today we have a few packs to open up, nothing crazy, but we're going to go over some content, I guess, and just collection progress and some of the thought process behind what we're trying to do for the next couple of days or I guess the week or so, I don't know, pretty much for season one, set one. We'll be talking about that. But this week, honestly, has been kind of boring. There's, there's not much going on. We pretty much have to wait until Friday for the major content to drop. So we don't really have that much to go over today. I feel like it's going to be a pretty quick one. So as far as XP reward path, I think since last like recap, no money spent video, we've opened up or we've gotten three of these rewards. So I did get another diamond boss pack which i'm kind of over getting those like i want to get the around the world choice pack but i never hit the gold stuff well actually i did hit a gold i got a charisma pack and a world baseball classic pack but that's not really what i want and then i think i got five show packs so you know the the bonus rewards still paying out a little bit since i'm on this screen let me see which players here i would want because we're gonna have to choose from one of these players and i think he's got oh no he's not the expensive one there was one of them that's like 20k but we either have those options or these options. I mean, do I really want any of these? I don't know. We'll probably take the charisma pack since we have that. Let's just go to the packs right now and see if we get anything good. So classic stadium, uh, really quick before we start, <laughs> we do have the new weekly wonders for today. So I don't know about weekly wonders, to be honest, this week, nothing really crazy. Uh, you get a classic stadium, you get the XP, which the XP is probably the main thing and the highlight of Weekly Wonders. And then you get a ball and as a habit pack for completing this. Now, there's two moments you have to do. We already did these. You have to tally one extra base hit and pitch one inning. Do not give up a run. So two easy points right there. And then the missions, these ones a little bit longer than what they normally are. Like you actually have to play a few games to get these done. You have to tally 25 strikeouts, 15 RBIs. So I was playing events a little bit. Got that there. You have to tally five saves. So at least five games you have to play that are, you know, three innings. Tally 15 hits with Giants. Tally nine innings pitch with Padres. And then tally innings with Captains. So this could just be any player, you know, any Captain card. And it doesn't have to be pitchers or anything. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think that's what it is because it's not innings pitched. So, you know, if you're trying to do this, three inning games, use Giants hitters and Padres pitchers, and then you can, you don't actually have to do the captain ones. You just, you don't have to do all six of these. You just have to do five of them. But still, you know, I'm, uh, I'm at the point where, like, I'm gonna just let this happen naturally because a ball in is a habit pack for me. It's not something where, like, I want weekly wonders to kind of, kind of be something where the reward is worth it that, like, when it drops on Wednesday, I want to go out and do it and try to complete the program on Wednesday. But for a ball that is a habit pack, I don't really care. So I think until there's like diamond choice packs or something like that for the final reward, then we'll just let this, we'll just naturally get it as we're playing throughout the week. You know, there's not really a rush to get these done if it's just a ball and pack and stuff like that. But again, the XP is nice. You know, we, we definitely like that. But let's go on to the packs that we do have. Again, not that many, but we got nine show packs. We got a classic stadium pack from the Weekly Wonders. We got the boss pack since we just got that from the XP. We got a world classic slash charisma pack and an events pack since we are working on events. So let's see what we get in these nine show packs. Would be nice for a diamond. We got Marte right there. So starting off with a gold player, nothing in this one. But yeah, this week, there's just, there's not that much to do, especially offline for us because we do have everything done. So it has kind of been a little bit boring playing. We have been playing, you know, the event a little bit. We've had, we have played some ranked season. So we've had, we've had some gameplays, you know, the last couple of days and we'll probably have either an events gameplay tomorrow or a ranked seasons. You know, I guess it depends if I finish up that event. We got Alexis Diaz. So Getting uh getting some gold players, no diamonds today. So nothing, nothing really in those show packs. Classic stadium. Let's see. Shea, old Miami, old Texas. Hmm. Don't really, don't really care for any. We'll take Shea Stadium right there. And then these packs. I wish these were an option for both, but I think uh I think we'll take the charisma player this time. I think last time we took the world baseball classic when we got one of these. 
So here, um, yeah, Troy Gloss, not a bad option. These are all 10K. We got Johnny Bench, which... Can I use Johnny Bench? Like, I do feel catcher is my weakest position. He doesn't really look that bad. He's good against lefties. Curtis Granderson, you know, he's really good against righties, but he doesn't really have clutch either. He has, uh, he has decent clutch, I guess, at 94. Last option would be Troy Gloss, but... I don't know. I don't like I don't think I need any of these guys really. I'm gonna just take Troy Gloss. We'll we'll stash him, I guess. And you know, if we need him, we'll use him. I don't know. Uh we got the boss pack now. Do we have all five yet? We do not have all five. So either Francisco Lindor or Ricky Henderson are the options. Do I want to take Lindor? I know a lot of people love using Lindor. I don't really care to use him to be honest, but he's a really nice looking card, well rounded. And he looks pretty good. Ricky Henderson, he just got the speed, but contact is pretty good. Par versus lefties isn't bad. And I feel like my outfield, though, is pretty set. We got Sosa, we got Griffey, we got Babe. So I'm not really going to play Ricky Henderson. I feel like if I were to use a player or have room for a player, it would be Lindor. So I guess we'll scoop up Lindor. We'll just hold on to him. You know, I don't really know what I'm doing with collections yet as far as locking players in or not. For this, we got to take Mookie Betts. I sold him when I realized there was rewind pack. So we'll take Mookie right here. And this is a no sell card. So we're just going to have to hold on to that. And I guess we can lock that into collections. So really quick with events, we're almost done with this. We're at 19 wins. And I don't really feel like we're playing bad, but we got to get six more wins. So when we have like three, three wins left, I'll probably record and show that. But Bichette, you know, these guys and Helton, they are pretty cheap. It's not really even worth playing this event, but, you know, we're, we're pretty close now and we might as well just finish it off. We still have enough time. I think it ends on like the fifth or something. You know, there's there's plenty of time to finish that off. Now, really quick with uh, let's go to the shop really quick because we have picked up a few players. Nothing crazy, but let me see. We'll go to we'll start off with the future stars. So I was able to pick up like Brett Beatty for kind of cheap. I think I got him for 17K. Yeah, I got Beatty for like 17K. So maybe a small flip right there. Here's some home run derby guys that I got too. I got Bradley. I sold one for 29K, but I bought him for 16. So that was a nice flip. And I got another Beatty right here for 16 Peraza at 17. So I'm, I'm pretty much just looking to flip these guys. I'm kind of waiting a little bit more to see if their prices go up a little bit. But that's kind of what we are holding on to, I guess. And then home run derby guys, these go out of packs on Friday. So I always say like these are good cards to maybe buy and, you know, just wait for them to go out of rotation. And then you probably can make some extra stubs. But right now, everyone but um, everyone but Bichette and Helton, like don't buy these guys. But the other home run derby guys, I think 18K is not bad maybe if they get down to 17k even a better buy but i do think these cards hit at least like 23k you know if i had more stubs i would probably buy like 10 of each but obviously with us having everything completed right now and pretty much having all the content done it's kind of hard for us to get packs which you know that would help us get stubs from selling off all the duplicates so we're just we're, we're pretty much waiting until the next season pretty much to you know make some stubs now set one collections you know i've been talking about this every time i'm like updating you guys but i'm starting to think like i don't think i need or want to get 260 cards or lock in 260 cards i think it's too much <laughs> so that's what i've been thinking about you know the last couple of days is like is it really worth locking in all these cards now so far i've only locked in no sell cards and maybe like five or seven cards that were sellable but a majority of the cards that we have locked in are no sell cards that we earned and i think that is the best approach just to lock in cards that are no sell pretty much all the cards that we do have or a lot of the cards that we do have are cards that we earned for free minus some of the like pretty much minus every card that was like um a pack in this pack store right so like this telus card around the world packs i pretty much bought all of those and sold some but i would keep the extra pretty much that I had because I would buy like four or five when I had stubs, but we did sell off and make some extra stubs, I guess, doing that a little bit. But yeah, you know, I think I think I'm at the point where 
we'll probably uh we'll probably only get two of these guys to be honest maybe we get three i guess it really depends what they do after this season because i'm pretty sure there's going to be ways that you can still earn set one cards which i don't know if that really makes sense but i feel like for example team affinity you know if we take a look at team affinity when they have all these packs and stuff right here where's team affinity like when they have all these packs right here i feel like they can throw in some future star packs and around the world packs when you're leveling this up for season two so that would mean there's still ways to earn some of the set one cards even though set two would be active so i do think cards like set one cards will still be easily obtainable after uh set one actually finishes and then we will also have set two but again i don't i don't see the point in locking in some of these cards even like you darvish i could just sell this card but a lot of these cards i'm almost at the point where i'm just gonna wait and see what happens for this first season and pretty much what releases for set two and then we'll kind of you know go from there pretty much to see if it's worth locking in some cards because i feel like every set you know if they're dropping all these 99s like some of these cards we're really not going to be needing to lock in. And I know like Chipper Jones is a good option. Like for example, Chipper Jones, obviously this is a really good card, but I don't really feel like having him as a 99 for like all the stubs and stuff you have to lock in is worth it when uh, they drop so many other 99s. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be another third baseman that might not be as good but as far as like using a player the the stats that we get with those players they're not going to be that far off to you know have to lock in over like 200 300 400k whatever it may be worth of cards to get the extra stuff so i do think when i get to this point i might favor the pitcher and pedro if we get to 200 which might be might be a couple weeks you know i think this friday there is the the mexico series stuff I don't know how many cards there are going to be for set one collections. They did show something today where like the first 10 cards that are in that program or whatever it may be are core cards. So that doesn't really help for this, but we have tops now that are coming. We'll have tops now next week. And then we'll also have monthly awards next week too. So there's at least like 20 or 30 cards that we should be able to lock in for this. And then I guess we'll have to see if we can get the 200 with all the other no sell stuff that there may be. But that's kind of where we're at. You know, I'm, I'm not really sure what to do with the collections and stuff like that. Let me know what you guys plan on doing. If you guys are actually locking in cards to maybe get two of those guys or three of the set one collections. I think I'm at the point where like, if we can get two, cool. But I'm not, I'm not really fiending to get that third one. You know, I don't, I don't really think it's worth it, to be honest. But we can just sell stuff and, and save our stubs for future sets and just go on from there but this is kind of what our team is looking at right now i showed it the other day and this is kind of where we're at with the bench and everything but like i said we'll have some ranked seasons gameplay and probably events you know this week we've been playing a little bit of the ranked seasons got to get that grind going on a little bit more and got to make that push for world series i don't know if i'm gonna show you guys every single game i play like so far i have but i know there's gonna be a point where we just we don't have enough time to show every single game so i'll probably pick and choose but i'll also show everything until we get to like hall of fame and then at that point i'll probably just skip around a little bit but yeah that's it for today nothing really crazy but i know on friday we have a lot of content to go through so we're pretty much just waiting for that but as always let me know what you guys are working on if you guys packed anything good and until the next one thank you guys for watching and i'm out